Okay, here's uh, another review quickly. It's of a Wii game I got, same time as I got Jack Free. And Blaze or Blaz Blue. For Xbox, Trinity Trigger, I think it's called. It was good. All them games. Um, the Wii game I got was Tatsunoko vs. Capcom Ultimate All Stars. Really good Wii game. Fun. Um, it's basically just like. Marvel vs. Capcom games, stuff like that. It's really fun. And, um, uh, well, so far I haven't used the Wii controller for it. I just used my um, GameCube controller for it. I mainly just got it because you can play as, um, like Mega Man, uh, Volnut from Mega Man Legends and, like, Zero. And, um, the machine from Lost Planet. Uh, it's a really good game. Really fun. Uh,. Yeah, you get you got little minor characters. Let's say like um the characters from they got like a few characters from Street Fighter. You play as like Mega Man from Mega Man Legends or and Zero from Mega Man X. And tag team together to fight another tag team. But if you choose the massive characters, like in um, the Capcom character, you get two massive characters, one for each um like something like Tatsunoko, Capcom. And the one you get from Capcom is the machine from Lost Planet, which is good. Now the boss is quite difficult, so I like to use it, and it's just easier. Um, yeah. And then you can, uh, and the other giant character is this massive guy called Lightman, the Golden Warrior. Now I don't know much about Tatsunoko, but I know some stuff about it. And the characters in it is quite good. Uh, yeah. Oh, one good, th another good thing about Mega Man Volnut in this game is you can change his arm. Like, so far, I know you can change into. You've got the basic gun, you can get it to a, like, machine gun kind of thing, like, shoots six bullets straight away. Uh, a drill arm, a shield arm, and, uh, yeah. So I know, but it's ultimate move. Brilliant. I recommend this game. It's got loads of fun characters. Uh, yeah, you get um, about three Street Fighter games, three characters from the Mega Man series. There's a zero you have to unlock. Um, a guy from called Batsu from Rival Schools. A guy called Kaijin Nosaki from Omamusha, Dawn of Dreams, and uh, a character called Morrigan from uh, Dark Stalkers, I think it is, and. Uh, those are some Capcom characters. Oh, and you get to get um, Frightful Joe, Beautiful Joe. Can't don't know his name properly. Ian Mizu was a fun character to play as. And some of the Tatsunoko characters. Uh, I don't know many of these, but I'll tell you what there is. There is um, Yata Man One. Duran Duran Joe from Yata Man. Um, Polymer from Hurricane Polymer. Uh, Tekama Tekaman. He looks like a really cool character. Um, from Gatcha Man, there's June the Swan and Ken the Eagle, and um, Gash Gashin from yeah Cashin. Don't know much about him, but it's, if you're him, you get like a robot dog to help you out, which is fun. And uh, last two characters, one is called Karas. He looks like a really fun character. He's got good moves. Uh, there's Ipatsu Man. As I say, I don't know much about most of these characters. I know about like um, the Catcher Man series. Catcher Man series, roughly. A uh, good game. So far, the characters I know you unlock. One of them is Zero, and one of them is like this robot-looking guy from Tatsunoko. That's all I know so far. I've only had it a few days. The boss is annoyingly difficult. You first find him and he's like a red like sphere and he's like pops out a hammer or a chainsaw and missiles shoots missiles. Oh it's an irritating character. But it's easy to beat him, I worked out a way to beat him easily. But then after you beat him you keep the same amount of life or you get you recover some and then you gotta fight him as a yellow sphere which has got legs and arms now and he goes like swings and hitting you. Now I've beaten him, but the last one is just so irritating. He becomes a red sphere again, but now he gets a big hand. And while you're doing your attack, he just grabs you and starts like throwing you, like burning with fire. 
an annoying feature is I was close to defeating him once and he used this special move on me. Just grab me, I had no chance of escaping, just like burning. Oh, isn't it? I still gotta beat him, he's just an infuriating character. You get some concept art in it. And you can get little movies, I think. Opening movie sort of far I know about. Yeah, um now being the character from Lost Planet, I use him for the um last boss fight, which is brilliant. He's got a um you can change his weaponry from like a missile launcher, a shotgun, machine gun, and like he's got two guns on his shoulder so you can change them round. And if you ever played the first Lost Planet game and got to the last level when he changes into a totally cool looking robot, his finishing move, he does that. Um, unbelievably cool. Yeah, I recommend it. Really fun Wii game. And, uh, yeah, and I think there might be a chance for a second one of these. I'm not sure. But if there is, I really want to get it. I won this game for a while. It was like 17 quid when I saw it. But then I got it for about 13. Because it was pretty owned. But it's in good condition and everything. And, um, yeah. Alright, thank you for watching my review. And goodbye.